Hello, my name is Chow Jimmy Wu, and a lot of people ask me why I admire and, and enjoy spiders, and it's a pretty deep topic that can't really be answered that easily, but there are some important factors in there. Uh, I think most importantly, uh, the fact that negative connotation has had its toll on the survival of, of arachnids and of arthropods. Um, we as people strive to protect the mammals, the birds, the reptiles that are in danger of becoming extinct. However, we as humans have forgotten the true rulers and runners of our planet. Every day our lives have become somewhat tangled within a mess of technology, economy, and personal struggle. That leads to a lessening of resources and available time. Appeal too is a significant factor which belies our very existence. Uh, we see the adorable and attractive uh, organisms such as the, t the, the pandas, the tigers, uh, the parrots, the birds. However, we set ignorance to those that appear less admirable, such as the scorpions, the beetles, and of course the spiders. Why is this fair? Well, the answer is that it really isn't. And while many celebrities, uh, much of the media, and even schooling uh, express to people of all ages about the negativity of insects, arachnids, and arthropods in general, we have so much to so much to learn from them. Just knowing that a spider, a wolf spider, something from the from the family Lycosidae, has the ability to give restrictive, charismatic, and giving maternal care closes the distance between us, the primates, the people, and the arthropods. While many obdurate humans argue that spiders are simply revolting, uh, venomous, uh, fearful, and, and serve no purpose, the truth is never so much the opposite. For example, of the over approximately 4,000 species of spider native to North America, only about 4 to 5 of them are able to deliver a medically significant bite. Yet despite this low ratio, we as people have overreacted to our spider neighbors. Now pest control programs have excluded and extended um, the, the original control of just, just roaches, flies, and mosquitoes to actually eradicating spiders, which really is a shameless act on our part, for we have destroyed our best protectors, our best friends, and our best form of pest control. Without spiders, our real pest populations will rise, our crops will, will, will be, become damaged, and our prices will, will ultimately rise, and, and with the rising of prices, the economy of, of any country would fall. And with this, hunger, of course, will continue to grow, and not just the hunger of other organisms, but even the hunger of people uh, will continue to grow beyond what is controllable by us. Uh, without spiders alone, it is estimated and said that humans cannot survive for more than five years simply from the overpopulation of other pests. So think about that. Would anyone want to to would anyone want a a, a pest ridden world without any form of green? Uh, we we. While we simply cannot rule out the importance of other arachnids and, and insects, uh, spiders have become a symbol of, of hatred and, and fear. We see people abdicating their destruction rather than nurturing their ex existence. How can we live with ourselves knowing that we are killing and detesting on our friends who had and have worked so hard to allow us to survive? We complain that our homes are being invaded by arthropods, yet they were here first. We were the invaders, we were the attackers, and we were the ones who enroached upon their homes. So why is it that we should be the ones complaining about them wanting to return to their native lands again, especially since they are our very lifeline for our survival and our existence? So next time you or your friends or family member see a spider, please consider what it has done for you and what it will do for you before stepping or swatting it to its death. Thank you.